Before I get started, before you all start railing on me about not using Jody Peterson's Rockin' in a Free World cover for my um, intro music, don't worry, she's not going anywhere, I'll still be using that, but as you know I have a lot of intros and I like to mix it up a bit because variety is good. And uh, speaking of Jody Peterson, uh, she has an upcoming show pretty soon and I'm going to be putting up a video to promote that and uh, get uh, anybody who's living in this area at least hopefully to buy some tickets and come out to the show because I'll be there for sure. And another exciting announcement with Jody herself uh, is also coming up soon. Um, so stay tuned for that. But uh, this video about uh, sex, sex in vans. Motorhomes, RVs, whatever. Um, I've noticed a few trolls on some other people's channels. Mostly mostly other guys living in their vans, uh, whether they're conver homemade converted vans or factory motorhomes. Um, I'm just going to shut this window. Traffic going by outside. Um, there's There seems to be a couple of trolls who like to comment, oh, well... You know, you'll, you'll never get laid living in your van. You'll never find a girl. All this stuff. And, and, and boy, is it ever the opposite. I'll, I have to tell you. These, these guys that are commenting things like that, they, they are definitely probably living in their mom's basement on their computer all day just trolling on other people's stuff. And they probably never get laid. And here they are telling guys like us that uh, we'll never find girls because we're living in, in our vans, RVs, motorhomes, what have you. Well, I've lived in RVs, vans, camper vans, Class B motorhomes such as this for many years on and off. And I've lived in apartments. <laughs> I've had shared accommodations. You name it. And I have to tell you something. My sex life goes up when I'm living this lifestyle, not down. It's the complete opposite. I think it all depends on too the, the type of girl that you you attract and the type of girl you try to attract. But girls love stability. Women like guys that are going somewhere, have a good job, or have money in the bank. I mean, I don't mean to say that in an insulting way or be stereotypical, but it's generally true. Girls uh, like to have that confidence in, in, in somebody that they're dating. And what I find is a lot of women, intelligent women, see this type of lifestyle and see what I'm doing and other people like me that are doing the same thing and what they see is security they don't see a guy marginalized who lost his job and is living in his van they see a guy that owns his home and he's not you know he's not subject to uh, uh, being on the street next month if he doesn't pay his pay his rent or he loses his job or he's a lot of people are one paycheck away from being on the street if they lose their job and they can't pay their rent or their mortgage payment or whatever. And a guy like me, well, I own my house. I have that security. And not only that, I have money in the bank. So if anything does happen, I'm not screwed. I mean, um, it, this thing's insured to the T as well. If something happened to this motorhome, got in an accident, drove off a bridge or whatever, and I survived, well, I'm going to walk away with it with another motorhome and extra cash in the bank. And I'm still going to live the lifestyle. I'm still going to be able to travel and do what I want to do. Whereas most people, not all, but most people, like I said, are one paycheck away from poverty, from being on the street and not knowing where they're going to live next month. And I would have to say a good majority of my friends in real life are in that situation. If they lose their job, they're screwed. They're going to have to couch surf. They're going to have to rely on other people or else they're going to be on the street. So the type of girls that I've met over the years uh, have all been attracted to this lifestyle. They're not turned off by it. And in fact, if a girl thought that this wasn't for them or they thought there was something weird or, or odd about it or they thought that I was lower down than guys that rent apartments in downtown Vancouver or whatever, then I wouldn't want anything to do with those types of chicks anyways. Seriously. Those aren't the type of girls I'd want to date. Um, 
I want to date the girls that are into this sort of thing. And I have never had a problem finding girls like that. Nine out of ten girls that I meet and find out that I live in this, they check it out and they see what it's all about. They don't only love it, they envy it. A lot of them want to do the same thing. I have a lot of friends in my life, a lot of female friends that are now looking into this lifestyle as an alternative for them to do on their own. Doesn't necessarily mean they have to be with some other guy that already has one. But it's no different than somebody living on their boat. Or, you know, there's all sorts of alternative li uh, lifestyles out there. So the notion or the myth that girls are going to be a problem and you're not going to get laid. Well, let me tell you something. This van has seen more action than my apartments ever did. And that has nothing to do with wham, bam, babes, my promotion company or those girls. I'm talking about girls that I actually see in real life. There's never been, I've had girls stay overnight here and they want to stay night after night after night. They love it. Absolutely love it. I mean, I've got a little fireplace in here. I've got a shower here. I've got a kitchen here. I've got TV. I've got music. I don't have to worry about neighbors upstairs or downstairs. And most of all, we can change our view. If we don't like uh, where we are, we can go park at the beach. We can drive to the mountains. I mean, there's just so much, so much freedom. And that attracts a lot of girls. And the type of girls that that attracts are the type that I'd actually be interested in. Not the type that actually, that wouldn't like this lifestyle. The types that, you know... I hate to say this, but the stereotypical gold diggers walking down Robson Street in Vancouver. Those are the type I wouldn't want to spend one second of my life with anyways, no matter where I lived. So I really don't care if they're not interested in this type of lifestyle. Because I don't want them around me anyways. So it all comes down to who you attract, who you're trying to attract, whatnot. And I find this lifestyle just naturally attracts the right kind of girls. Not just girls, guys. Now, I'm not going to date guys, but... All of the cool guys that I meet in life, too, are all not only down with this lifestyle, but are either doing this lifestyle, have done this lifestyle, or planning to do this lifestyle in the future. So, it's all perception. So, to you trolls out there telling other guys that they're never going to get girls because they live in their vans, well, you've got it all backwards, buddy. I think you should get out of your mom's basement, maybe buy a van, and maybe you'll get laid. Because don't forget, if the van's a rockin', don't come a knockin'.